In this video, we'll be looking at uh, simple equations, multiplication and division, the third part. And if you observe, the questions are a bit different. We have brackets, or what is called in the US parentheses. How do we handle simple equations with parentheses or brackets and still determine the value of the variables? So in this case, we want to call to mind some of those things we discussed when we were talking about the symbol. Plus times plus will give us plus. Minus times minus will give us plus. And plus times minus, minus times plus will give us negative. And we want to be able to start from now to understand how to expand from brackets or from parentheses. So let's take this for example to get our feet wet and become familiar with this process so that when we get to subsequent math topic we'll be more competent to be able to handle anything that has to do with a parenthesis or bracket so we start with a question number 11 so we have 5 into x plus 4 equals to 35. So how do we approach it? The first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to say removing brackets. Permit me to write bracket or parenthesis. So how do we do that? This 5 we multiply x and then this 5 we also multiply 4 and we will not repeat the writing of the bracket or parenthesis again so that will give us something like 5x because 5 times x is 5x and 5 times 4 is 20 equals to 35 the moment you remove the bracket now you can now work out the value of the variable so in this case we have plus 20 on the left hand side what can we say we can subtract 20 from both sides so when we subtract 20 from both sides it will give us 5x plus 20 minus 20 and 35 minus 20 so that will give us 5x equals to 15 to determine the value of our variable we are going to say divide both sides by the coefficient standing by that variable that happens to be 5 so we have 5x over 5 and 15 over 5. So if we solve further, the 5 will cancel out. And then 5 will go in 15 three times. You can check the value of x in the equation. And you will see what it's going to give you. Next question. 2 into 5a minus 3 equals to 6a so how do we solve that further we're going to repeat the same thing you'll notice we are trying to repeat so that you can understand the process better so expanding the parenthesis or the bracket these two we multiply 5a and these two we multiply 3 here we want to exercise caution wherever we have negative sign. So 2 times 5a will give us 10a. And 2 times minus 3 will give us minus 6. And for us to be able to solve this further, we have on the right hand side another variable with coefficient. So the best thing to do here is that uh, we want to collect the like terms collect the like terms so our like terms will make us to subtract 6a from both sides 
so that will be 10 a minus 6 a minus 6 equal to 6 a minus 6 a 10 a minus 6 a will give us 4 a so we have 4 a minus 6 equals to 0 for us to determine the value of a we are going to add 6 to both sides so we are going to add 6 to both sides so that will be 4a minus 6 plus 6 equals to 0 plus 6 so we have 4a equals to 6 and if we solve further we we'll divide both sides by 4 so we have 4a over 4 and 6 over 4 and 4 we cancel out and that will be 6 over 4 so we'll go to the next question this is a bit different here we have 6 into 2m minus 3 equals to 4 into m minus 2. So remember, prior to now, we were able to do expansion of our bracket or parenthesis on one side. Now we are going to do it on both sides and we apply the same concept, so the same steps. So we'll say expanding. So expanding this 6, we multiply this 2m, and this 6 we multiply 3, 4 we multiply m, and 4 we multiply 2. Ready? So let's start. So 6 times 2 will be 12m. And 6 times minus 3 will give us minus 18. That way we don't have to repeat the parentheses anymore. 4 times m will give us 4m. And 4 times minus 2 will give us minus 8. Having established that, what do we do next? We can collect the like terms. So we collect the like terms. So when we collect the like terms, we can walk from either side, the right or the left. So I would like to walk from the left, whereby I can subtract for him from both sides. So subtract 4m from both sides. So that would be 12m minus 4m minus 18 4m minus 4m minus 8 someone asked do we need to keep repeating this not necessarily but because i'm trying to show you a demo video that is why i keep repeating it so that when you go over and watch it again you'll be able to understand why do we take this one out so this is what you have 12m minus 4m will give us 8m minus 18 and minus 8. So to determine the value of m, we are going to add 18 to both sides. So that will give us 8m minus 18 plus 18 and then minus 8 plus 18. So that becomes 8m equals to plus 10. Now we can say divide both sides by 8. So we have 8m over 8 equals to 10 over 8. And this gives us m because a to cancel out, and that will be one whole number two over eight or one whole number one over four. So the last question is a bit a stretch. 
and I want you to give it careful attention. 8n minus bracket parenthesis 3n minus 7 equals to 2 into n plus 3 plus 1. So let's just follow the process expanding. But here is the caution. So we have 8n. Here we can assume to have minus 1 because of this negative. So this will be give us minus 1 times 3n. That will become 3n. And then minus 1 times minus 7. That will become plus 7. So please don't forget. This is like we're having negative 1 out here. And if we expand the right hand side, it will give us 2n. 2 times 3 will be 6, then plus 1. The same thing here, we want to collect like terms and remove 2n on the other side. So we have 8n minus 3n minus 2n minus 3n minus 2n and then plus 7 equals to 7 so this will give us 8n minus 5n and that will give us equals to 7 minus 7 and this will be 3n equals to 0 then if we subtract I mean if we divide 3n on both sides divide both sides by 3 that will be 3n over 3 and 0 over 3 and our final answer will be n equals to 0 so this is how we handle equation of this nature so please take time and go back and review these exercises until you are able to do so comfortably. Thank you very much for watching. The next part we will conclude all the discussion about simple equation and all the things that we have covered so far.